Welcome to another CN Sport YouTube video. This time I'm actually in the shop. It actually looks a lot better in the shop, I think. But I'm just going to do a quick video. Donna, do you want to be in the video really quickly? No, not well. Just, just quick then, get in it and just say hi to everyone. Donna wants to be on YouTube. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, bye. Uh, so I'm just doing a quick video and it's, it is just a quick one and it's just the differences between Ibiza Juice by Gorilla Alpha and yet is there actually someone wanna come in? <laughs> and Yeti Juice by Gorilla Alpha. So this is the latest formulas of both of them. And there really isn't a lot of difference. Um, so I'm going to go through the differences with you. We're going to do a screen recording at the same time. I hope that we're going to match these two videos up. And then when we do the screen recording, we will um, we'll go over the differences. So we're going to go over the difference. I beef juice and Yeti juice they are both pre-workouts. Let's go over the differences between the two. So this is always the really hard part is for me to start recording and then start speaking at the same time. So I'm going to say go. And that means that it started recording. So I'm going to look at the screen now. So on here we have, this is part of the pre-workout breakdown sheet that I created a long time ago. And I plug in all the different ingredients and then I give them a, 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 a sort of a category. Um, and we can see that today, the 30th of the eighth, I've added in the Grilla Alpha beef Juice and the Grilla Alpha Yeti Juice. Um, and you can see there we've got the Bubblegum Blast, if I can just open that up a bit. We've got the Bubblegum Glass, we put the block, the, the, the lot number in. And then on top of that as well, I put the serving size. I always go with the biggest serving option. So in this one is 24 grams, which is the two scoops. Um, and first of all, we're going to start off with the pump ingredients. So in terms of pump ingredients, we've got the same amount of citrulline. So 8,000 milligrams of pure L-citrulline. That's a massive, massive, massive dosage. We've got um, L-norvaline. I've put in there as pump, but L-norvaline is generally in there as an arginase inhibitor. So it's in there to sustain your pump for a longer period of time. So again, same amount, we've got milligrams in there, uh, 200, 200 milligrams in there. Taurine, we've got slightly more um, taurine in the Gorilla Alpha, in the Ibiza juice, let me just open this up a little bit here, um, in the Ibiza juice over the Yeti juice, and I'll just close that. Um, so we've got a little bit more in the Ibiza juice, but it's 500 milligrams, it's not a massive amount. So I've put that in pump and performance because taurine is used for both of them things. Um, so 500 milligrams more, but again, it's just not enough to really be concerned about. Beta alanine, we have uh, the exact same amount of 4,000 milligrams, which is right, right bang in the middle of the efficacious dosing. And in the performance section where we have slightly more on the Yeti juice is betaine. So betaine is generally used for performance in terms of strength and power output. So you could almost say that maybe the Ibiza juice is slightly better for a pump and maybe the Yeti juice is slightly better in terms of performance. But again, it's just not a big difference between the two, but 2000 milligrams of betaine and hydrous. We've got caffeine and hydrous, um, 500 milligrams of each. That's a massive dosage of caffeine. We've got a huge, huge dosage of caffeine. Uh, sorry, Donna's looking at me through the window. We've got a huge dosage of caffeine, and then we've got the di caffeine malate, uh, the infinite energy at 30 milligrams. So small amount of a slightly slower release caffeine. Theobromine, another stimulant in there, both 100 milligrams, and hordenine, uh, both 150 milligrams, and then we've got the juggling Regia at um, 450 milligrams of both of them. So the same on both. I mean, the stimulant level on this is is huge. Is huge. What? Uh, there's someone waiting. The stimulant level on this is huge. We've got focus and cognition. Um, 600 milligrams of alpha GPC and uh, 600 milligrams of alpha GPC on both of them. And then we've got two and a half thousand milligrams of L tyrosine and 2,000 milligrams of tyrosine within the IB for um, two and a half thousand, 2,000 within the Yeti juice. Not a big difference, a little bit more focus in the Ibiza juice. Juniper berry we've got in the Ibiza juice. It's supposed to enhance the um, effects of things like caffeine, but I'm not really convinced by that. So again, 150 milligrams between the two. And then we've got 200 milligrams of, um, uh, 50 milligrams of estrogen in both and 200 milligrams of uh, Himalayan rock salt in the IB for juice. So when it comes down to it, you can see here, 
very little, both around the 20 gram active ingredients with around four grams of uh, uh, flavoring and sweeteners in there. Um, and let's face it, there's really not a lot of difference. So let's say as a overall, because I want to wrap it up, the Ibiza juice might be slightly better for pump and stim and the Yeti juice might be slightly better for performance. But really, they are so close to the same product. Pick a flavor you like and go with it. Thank you for watching the video. I'm going to stop the screen recording now. Uh, thanks for watching the video and we'll catch up with you next time.